IGIB instead of genomics and integrative biology, basically we are working at the interface of chemistry and biology, taking nucleic acid as a thematic area. We try to understand the formation of different kind of unusual structure. The usual structure is duplex, so we are basically interested in something which is not duplex in nature and how they are basically form within the test tube means their thermodynamical understanding as well as inside of the cell, living cell. And then once if we are confirmed that they are existing inside of the cell, try to understand whether they do manipulate some biological function or not or small molecule to target them specifically so that we can interfere the biological function which was controlled by this kind of unusual DNA or RNA structure. So as you know already you have known that you know uh, the DNA is double helix which was basically discovered by Francis Crick as well as Watson, Watson and Francis Crick. Basically in DNA base two four bases G basically binds with C, guanine hybridized with cytosine with three hydrogen bond and adenine with two hydrogen bond with thymine. That's the general rule. This rule is so much so much known that today we can basically write a computer program to come out different kind of nanostructure using nucleic acid strand either DNA or RNA. But there is a deviation. Deviation is that the guanine if they are coming into certain orientation in presence of some kind of monovalent cation say sodium, potassium and such kind of monovalent cation, they can form a tetrad by a different kind of bond, hydrogen bond which is known as a Wickstein hydrogen bond and they can come out one by one stacked together can give four standard nucleic acid structure. So this is basically duplex structure, this is a four standard structure and it is known as a DNA or RNA quadruplex. So we are interested to understand whether this kind of structure are thermodynamically stable in certain conditions or not and if they are stable in, in certain condition they are exist within the cell or not and manipulate biology or not. So you worked at the DNA level for a long time 2004 I joined Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology and tried to understand whether this kind of structure has any role in biology or not. What we understood that this structure are huge competition thermodynamical com competition with normal duplex structure but they form under certain specialized conditions that means that cells can undergo different kind of changes which creates a particular kind of environment where this kind of four standard structure can form. But this structure does not exist in, a, in, in general case that was our observation. We have basically analyzed close to 100 different sites in the genome which can form putatively quadruplex but always they do not exist as it has been described in literature. So we are interested that this kind of competition can be absent, not exactly absent but their competition can be lower if the nucleic acid strand is single stranded. That means at the RNA level most of us we know that RNA basically are single stranded though they have ability to form different kind of intramolecular structure. So to ask this question in the genome level, we try to develop a tool which can give us idea where this kind of putative structure can form. So using this, we are trying to understand such kind of structure at the RNA level like in a UTR which is do not code for protein but basically stabilize messenger RNA or in exon or in other place of a messenger RNA whether they do have any role to manipulate biological function or not. Uh, nucleic acid chemical biology field Shankar Balak Subramaniam from Cambridge came out with a in vitro experiment that this kind of RNA quadruplex can play a role, predictive role inside the cell. But that was completely in vitro study. Later on we have came out that yes they can form, form uh, inside of the cell as well as they can manipulate biological function. So using a particular gene called GIC1 which is involved in cancer, we try to understand first initially in test tube that they do form quadruplex. This is CD spectroscopic and typical CD spectra for a RNA quadruplex which is parallel in nature and shows 
the typical melting domain which are observed in, in, in case of four standard DNA or RNA structure and prove that they are intramolecular in nature. What we have measured here that Tm as a function of concentration as Tm is not dependent on concentration. So we concluded that they are basically intramolecular structure. These are all in vitro experiment that means we have done in, in test tube but not inside of the cell to understand whether this structure particular structure which is forming in test tube can play a role in, in, in RNA level inside of the cell or not. We constructed a dual luciferase reporter assay. The reporter assay right now Jeuna has explained but this is a biological reporter assay. In one case we have taken a particular you know reporter gene under which 3 5 prime UTR. We have placed the quadruplex which we have identified and established that they can form within intestine tube and we have taken an independent reporter which is not under control of this kind of structure and try to compare their activity inside the cell at the RNA as well as DNA level. So the green bar basically shows the protein level like you have DNA which basically code for the gene then from DNA to RNA, RNA basically gives the protein which is basically functional in nature so far. So we measured that RNA level, what we observed that placing this quadruplex at the RNA level do not change their you know abundance or expression within the living cell whereas the protein level this is the basically quadruplex site where we have placed the protein level is basically you know compromised when this kind of four standard RNA are present. So this was the first say, first study to, to demonstrate that RNA quadruplex may play a role in living cell which was acknowledged by this you know, oh, pioneer of this you know, community Shankar that the you know, 5 prime UTG quadruplex in living cell in living eukaryotic cell was published by our group. So after this you know two consecutive paper there are several paper to understand whether it is very general role in, in, in living cell or not. You know many paper came out to prove that yes you know RNA quadruplex can you know can form can interfere biological function. At that time we are interested something different that for quadruplex you need four strand which is basically coming from the G stretch, guan in stretch. So you need G3 or G4 then in something non-G basis ATC again G guan in few stretch and so on. So if we deviate from this kind of classical motif still they can form RNA quadruplex or not that was the question. The question came because we knew that RNA is much more plastic and can tolerate bulges or different kind of you know uh, hydrogen bond base pairing uh, within the RNA. So we searched in with this kind of deviated motif again human genome and came out few genes. One of the genes I will give you example here which is basically you know VWF gene. So it is a very important gene but to avoid much more jargon how do we see that you know the, we have a three G stretches and fourth one is missing. Whether this you know we have taken few bases from 5 prime and 3 prime side to understand they can form quadruplex or not. After you know considering few genes we came out with these, these genes we see that you know again a suppressive role of this kind of you know formation of quadruplex structure may play in this case or in this case. So we then ask the question, so where from the third stand has come? So one of the question may come, it is not the three tetrad which is forming quadruplex, it could be a two tetrad. To ask that question first, what we have done? We have done walk through mutation. That means that if we change any G's among these stretches and if it's hampered the biological function, that means this base is involved to to the uh, you know towards the formation of quadruplex. That's what we have, have done. This is wild type, the original you know sequences which is naturally occurring, and this is the mutation which have considered. 
and as i told that you know quadruplex in presence of in, in in the original gene they have a suppressive role so deviation or you know more re, higher result than this that means that it is involved if i mutate this particular g that means it is destroying the structure that means that it is involved in the g quadruplex formation so that's what we did in this case and with one exceptional okay we can see that almost all nine these g's are involved in the quadruplex formation that proves are that it is a basically three tetrad not the two tetrad which is forming inside the cell now the third strand or fourth strand may come from the five prime side or may come three strands three prime strand side to check that we have mutated again both the sides and try to understand which sites may if you do the mutation or change the basis the biological function which was showing by the quadruplex is getting hampered as you have from this graph you can see that if i mutate 2 and 3 that means this site five prime site the biological function which was showing by quadruplex is not hampered that means the four strand is not coming from the five prime site of that stretch when you meet at three prime stress, you can see that they are losing the biological function which was controlled by the RNA quadruplex. That means the third strand are coming from the three prime side of these sequences. But there are seven G's, if you count seven G's are there and I need only three G's. That means there are 35 possibilities to form G quadruplex from the you know, three prime side. So to understand exactly which bases again are involved, we try to mutate one by one, walk through manner and try to understand which G is exactly involved in this case. So again, as I told you, if you see that the values is less than equal or less than eight, that means these G's are not involved in the biological function because if you change the value does not change in that case, sometimes it can better. But if you change those G's which are involved in the G quadruplex formation, they will change the expression level at the higher than the point, you know, point 0.8 or lower. So from this study, what we have understood, this is just mapping of this, you know, three G stretch, and this is the five prime site. We have, if I mute at these two G's, that suppressive like, you know, quantification of this Lucifer's activity is 0.5 around. That means if you mutate, this G quadruplex are retained. That means they are not involved. If you mutate these two, they are basically going to be close to the, you know, uh, to the one. And if you mutate again, this G is more suppressive roller or roller object. So that means this, this Gs may be involved in the G quadruplex. So we did, you know, mutated the essential, non-essential Gs in the whole sequences and try to understand again whether they can sub, they can have the suppressive role or not. And we see that, you know, if, if, if I mutate, if I keep these two Gs one by one and mutate all other Gs, still this can form quadruplex inside of the cell. So we did a lot of biophysical study, again coming back, came back to the test tube, tried to understand whether they can form stable quadruplex within test tube or not. As I explained to you, you know, this is typical melting domain of any quadruplex. We have seen that and melting domain gives the TM temperature, melting temperature around, you know, 70 or 80 in the both the cases, which is good enough to believe they are very quite stable. We did thermodynamical calculation by differential scanning calorimetry and we have seen that you know they are quite stable at least the physiological conditions uh, that means you know at least 100 millimolar uh, potassium salt. So this is again typical CD signature which basically again give us confidence that yes if you still mutate certain G's which is basically available in genome still it can retain the quadruplex formation. In inside of the cell. So this is single cell level. Now there will be many deviation. You know you can write down all the deviation, but there is a technology you can go for high throughput cloning. That means you can create 
this luciferase experiment for a particular sequence whatever you are thinking. So we try to test around 30 to 40 genes, I have 20 genes ex, you know expression level uh, experiment here and most of the cases you know couple of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 20, 4 or 5 they show that they do not involve in G quadruplex formation but rest of the you know deviated sequences are involved in the G quadruplex formation. That means it tells us that you know for having G quadruplex you do not need a classical motif which is known in literature. We have compared this kind of study at the DNA level but in DNA case you need actually you know that kind of classical motif G stretch for four times at least to have the quadruplex and that can show biological function. So this is the main outcome of our result and let me thank Sir again to you for your kind you know patient and I will be happy to answer your question. <laughs>